Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back for those of you guys returning. For those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Pinky. We're going to be doing the monthly reading for all signs. We're going to start off here with Aries. For those of you guys that are interested in personal consultation, spell work, or any of the services that we provide, you can find the link to our online store below on the description box. So let's get into it. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2022. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Let's see what is unfolding for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, here we go. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. Allow me to open up as a vessel of communication. Let it be you who speaks through me. What are the messages for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of October. Now, in regards to your earthly plane, we have the Tower card. All right. So there is major transformative energy that is happening around you or that is happening at your work. For some of you guys, this could be something that comes out of left field. This could be potentially um, major changes, uh, almost like changing the infrastructure of management, of superiors, of how things are run or how they've been running for quite a while. There's definitely a shakeup here that's happening. Now, in regards to the element of air communication, we have the five of swords. So there is a lot of hostility in your career or your finances. Um, a lot of people really competing or fighting uh, for positions or fighting for authority, even people that perhaps are not even in an authoritative position. Uh, it's almost like what I'm sensing is people trying to tell other people what to do when that's not their place to do so. So there could be a lot of frustration happening with you right now at work, Aries. Um, my advice is don't take the bait. Don't fall into this chaotic type of energy because there is definitely a lot of things that are going to be changing and you do not want to add to the fuel. You don't want to add to the fire because you don't want it to later come back and bite you in the ass. So in regards to the element of fire and um, the challenge here is the four of cups. So I see you guys, I'm going to be honest, I see you guys a bit frustrated because I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's almost this feeling like things are getting out of control at work or where you work at. This could be your colleagues. This could be your coworkers. This could be management. Like I said, um, there is a feeling of you're tired of it or you're tired of dealing with this type of energy but what they're telling you here is that the tower there is beauty in the tower why because it usually indicates if something's been going on for quite a while and it hasn't been working it's going to basically fall apart it's going to be torn down to be able to build on a more stable or solid foundation so again I know that sometimes it's difficult when we feel overwhelmed or when we feel like things are not going our way. We have a tendency of only looking towards the negative. What they're telling you here is shift your way of thinking. If it is chaotic, know and understand that there is change that's coming. And be positive in that aspect that things are not going to keep going the way they've been going up until now. Um, if it is, again, people that you're working with that are extremely competitive or that are stepping on other people's you know toes or whatever the situation know that it's coming to an end because there is major changes that are happening that need to happen now in regards to the element of water here we have the page of swords so as you guys can see we have two swords there is a lot of hostility there is a lot of I'm almost sensing like a feeling of like backstabbing and people just stepping on toes and that type of energy. Like I said, if anything, take this and know without a doubt that there is change that is coming, whether those around you are making it difficult or not, whether they're aware of it or not is irrelevant. It's come to a culmination and know and understand that we are also having a few planets that are going direct. So they've been in retrograde for quite a while and we're going direct. So there is a lot of shakeups that are going to happen that are based off of people getting or acting out of character, being sneaky or petty. It's going to come back and bite them in the ass and you're going to be able to sit back and watch everything unfold. So again, don't take the bait. Don't fall for it. Stay neutral. Things will get better for you 
Aries. All right, what is the message here? What is the final spirit's message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of October 2022? And we have patience, which is exactly the energy I was sensing. What they're telling you here is be patient. Things are definitely going to change. Whether this is in career and finances, whether this is in any other aspect of your life, relationships, partnerships, family, if there's a lot of hostility that's happening, it's coming to a culmination. It's coming to head front, basically. And those people that have been, like I said, sneaky, um, that have been very just nasty is they're going to have to deal with the consequences of that because things are going to change. What they're telling you here is essentially don't let people get the best of you and be patient because things are going to turn around and they're going to turn around sooner than you think. All right, Aries. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of insight and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.